Hello everyone and welcome to IV's YouTube channel. Today I will demonstrate how to configure Apache Kafka on a Windows operating system. Kafka requires Java 8 to run. To check if Java is already installed, open the command prompt and type java space dash version. If Java is not installed, please refer to my previous video for installation instruction. Now after Java installation, Open any browser and search for Apache Kafka. Click on the official Apache Kafka website. On the Kafka homepage, click on download Kafka. Scroll down little bit and download Kafka 3.9.0 with Scala 2.12. Once the download is complete, extract the folder to your C drive. and rename the folder to Kafka. Now in Windows search bar, type edit environment variables and open it. Under user variables, click new. Provide a variable name Kafka underscore home all caps. In the value section, click on browse to Kafka directory and in C drive select Kafka folder. Then press OK. Next, go to the path variable under the user variable. Then click edit. Then click new. Now again, go back to Kafka folder and inside that Kafka folder, go inside bin folder and then copy the path and paste it over here and finally save it. Now again, go back to Kafka folder, then open config folder, then open craft folder. Inside the craft folder, open reconfig-server file in a notepad. Modify the log.dir path. Just add c colon forward slash Kafka. Then save this file. Again open the server file in notepad. Over here also change the log.dir and add c colon forward slash Kafka. Finally save it. Now again go back to Kafka folder. In the address bar type cmd and press enter to open command prompt. Now in command prompt just write dot backslash bin backslash windows backslash Kafka dash storage dot bat. space random dash uuid to generate a cluster id. It will generate a cluster id. Now copy that cluster id in a notepad and in notepad write the command dot backslash bin backslash windows backslash kafka dash storage dot bat space format space dash t and then space paste the copied cluster id then space dash c space dot backslash config backslash scrapped backslash server dot properties and then press enter to run it now copy this command and go back to your notepad Go back to command line prompt and paste it and then press enter to run it. If it's run without any error, that means your Kafka setup is working. Now minimize this command prompt. Again go to the Kafka folder in the address bar type cmd and press enter to open a command line prompt. And over here write a Kafka topic. You can find these commands below description box. Now over here I am creating a topic named as test with one partition and 
one replication factor. Once this is done, go back to command line prompt and paste it and then press enter to run it. Now we have to write the producer command. Again, copy this command from the description box below and make sure your topic name should be the same which you have created before and paste it and then press enter to run it. Now once your producer code is running, again go back to the Kafka folder, open a new command prompt and run the consumer code. Now once the consumer command is running, then bring back the producer command and consumer command prompt in one screen. Now type a message in the producer window. You should instantly see it's appear in the consumer window, confirming your Kafka setup is working perfectly. Now that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more such videos.